Hi, uh, this is Austin with All Season Sports. Just going to go over the basics on, uh, you know, if you were to come into the shop and ask how to set up a float fishing rig. Uh, you know, traditionally what we do for the steelhead in the fall, winter, and into the spring. So there are two common ways that we do float fish for the steelhead. Uh, the first one being a spinning uh, rod and reel setup, which is how most people do start off doing it. Um, and then, you know, once guys get more advanced, they do switch to the center pin, but this is definitely the best way to start. Um, most guys are gonna have a 3000 series reel. Um, we usually do recommend that you use a rod uh, longer than 10 six to fish for steelhead. Uh, using a rod, a, a, like a noodle rod above 10 6 it helps with line mending it helps with just fighting the fish in general uh, it's going to be perfect for somebody just starting to learn how to float fish and then this is a uh, center pin um, its primary pur purpose is to just spin it matches the exact flow rate of the water so whatever you're presenting be it beads egg sacs or anything it's going to look as natural as it possibly can to those steelhead and uh, traditionally this is done with a 13 foot noodle rod versus you know an 11 footer with a spinning rod just a little bit you know, more to fight the fish with considering that these do not have a drag system traditionally. There are reels that do, but not this one. So you got your rod and reel and you're probably wondering what you need to put on your reel. Uh, generally, you're gonna be using anywhere from eight to 10 pound mainline. Uh, P-Line offers great options in either CXX or FloraClear, 10 or eight. So when you're first starting your rig, you're going to start with surgical tubing, cut it to size, put a few pieces on your main line. Uh, and then pick out what float you're going to want to use, generally using anywhere from a 5.5 to an 8 gram float. So now that you have your surgical tubing on your main line, uh, next step would to be tie on a micro swivel. Uh, you know, usually using anywhere from size 12, 10, you know, the smaller the better, for sure. Uh, and then from there you're going to be using lipless uh, BB shots. Uh, usually you like to have a variety of sizes. Uh, and this is what you're going to use to weight down your float. Uh, generally speaking, you want to add enough to where that white line is even with the water so that you're, you know that you're getting down and into the fish. So then from your swivel down, you're going to need fluorocarbon leader, uh, generally using anywhere from 8 to all the way down to 3 pound into the winter. Um, then from there, you're going to be tying on a hook. Uh, you know, Gamagatsu is a great option. Usually, you know, what most people use, probably the best selling for sure. Um, use that for beads or egg sacs. So now that you have your float on, uh, your weight's on, uh, your swivel is tied so that you can jump down to your fluorocarbon and your hook is on, we can get into baits, uh, different things that you will be using. Uh, first, we'll talk about eggs. Um, probably the best thing to use on this fishery, definitely an egg-based fishery. Um, best to use trout eggs. Um, if you didn't get your own, unfortunately, Potsky does sell them so that you do have a nice option to get into them. Um, tying those up into mesh yourself, I mean, just the four basic colors to get started with, definitely those ones like right there, uh, blue being by far the most popular on this fishery. Um, then the other option would be, and my preferred, because don't have to do any kind of tying or anything like that, would definitely be beads. Um, I do prefer Lazy Larry's personally because I am lazy. Unfortunately, with other bead companies, uh, you do have to cut your leader line to put on and change beads. Um, and that's just why I prefer the slit on Lazy Larry's. And to uh, just leave you with like a tip, a recommendation, um, persistence does pay off for steelhead. There's not as many of them in a large volume in the river like there is with the salmon, if you are familiar with that and you wanted to try the steelhead. Um, it can be pretty frustrating even for people that have done it for years. Um, just don't give up. Come in, ask questions, ask for tips, uh, and we'll gladly help you out.